My name is Linda Cash. I was born January 17th, 1961 in Montreal. I am an actress. I am probably best known as the Philadelphia cream cheese angel, but I've done some other things. My idea of perfect happiness is probably what I'm doing right now. I like where I live. I love my kids. I love my partner. I like my work. I'm confident right now. I'm at an age where I'm not questioning everything I do. That's about as perfect, I think, as you can get, but it's a very hard question. My greatest fear is anything happening to my children and losing my memory. There's so many, but I admire people like June Callwood because I think she gives of herself, but she isn't saintly. She's just straight on, unpretentious, but extremely generous without needing to receive accolades constantly. She's just wonderful. Jane Goodall was another one. And my father, who I just lost, is someone who I admire very much. The characteristic I dislike most in myself is self-doubt. The characteristic I least like in other people is self-pity. I'm most excessive about face cream, newfangled crap for my face. I think the most overrated virtue is righteousness. I'm very mistrustful of that. I do lie, and I lie when I'm not ready to tell the truth. So I eventually tell the truth, but it takes me some time. <laughs> I come from a family of musicians, so the talent I wish that I had and developed a little more was the ability to play instruments. I also love painting, and I wish I was better at it. What gives me the most satisfaction is a, a genuine hug from my kids and a thousand kisses on my face from my partner. The lowest depth of despair has got to be the loss of memory. My mother has Alzheimer's and she's been ill for many, many years. I think it is a, a sorry chapter in her life and I think it's, a, it's not fair. You know, if I lost my mind, it wouldn't be my misery, it would be the people around me, but that's the worst. My greatest achievement is 34 hours of labor with no epidural. My most obvious characteristic is my crazy wild hair, my sausage fingers, and my dimples. My favorite word is mama. I love when I hear it coming out of my kid's mouth. There are a number of forks in everybody's road, and obviously, you know, having children is, is one of them, but meeting my partner, Paul, was the most dramatic fork in the road because it put different things in perspective and changed my life and the way I looked at my future. I feel adored. The person that influenced me most in my life was my mother. Um, I wanted to be her, I emulated her, and then eventually I knew uh, what to stay away from. Uh, so she taught me what to do and what not to do, but she was enormous for me. I distinctly recall being on a bicycle when I was about 11 years old. We had just moved from Philadelphia and I was riding around this new neighborhood and I was on my own and I was scoping things out and I recall a sort of rush of just pure happiness. That was the most distinct that day. I just kind of spiritually sort of hugged myself. It was like everything is right as well. I think that I would have to bundle uh, the brokers of peace throughout history. Each has their own story, and I'm sure they're filled with holes. You know that Gandhi had horrendous habits with women, whatever. They're not, they're not perfect. In the face of enormous governmental adversity, they stuck to it. I wish I hadn't uh, been so concerned about being liked because I wasted a lot of time on that and less time on a good brain and working harder at the beginning of my life. And I also wish I practiced the damn piano and the cello because I was musical, but I was really lazy and too busy thinking about who liked me. If I was reincarnated and I could come back as whatever I wanted, I don't think I would. 
I don't think I want to. I think this is it for me, and I, I think I'm living a better life that way. My motto is uh, love me or hate me, but know me.